Today, I am bringing back a 19-year-old project from my college days to reimagine the currency. So this was the inspiration from this project, and I wanted to reimagine this and revisit it. I want to shine the light on the legacy of everyday women. So this is my abuelita aquí. And I wanted to create the $3.5 trillion bill. This is to reflect the contribution that Latinos and Hispanos have for the GDP. And because I want to bring this to a digital format, I decided to go with the vertical design. We're going to go to Photoshop, go to the adjustment layers. We're going to add a new layer that is black and white. And we're going to select both of these and we're going to make them a smart object. Then we are going to create a new layer. We want to fill this layer. And then I want to make sure that it's 50% gray. Then I am going to convert this one into a smart object. Filter gallery. So I want to make sure I have the image selected. So then you're going to go into sketch. First, you're going to do the halftone pattern. Then you're going to have it set to four and contrast zero pattern type dot. And then you're going to add another plus icon over here to duplicate that. But we're going to select torn edges. Now what we want to do is we're going to go into filter. We're going to go to distort and we're gonna select twirl and we're gonna give it 100%. And then what we're gonna do is with that layer that we just fixed, we're gonna go into hard mix, add a new solid color, and then we're going to select screen. Where are you screen? Right here. I went in here and I clicked on remove background. I'll option drag that mask to every one of those layers. And then I have that already good to go. So. That's how we were able to recreate this. So we're gonna go back here to Illustrator. I have my background. I wanted this to be very textured. I have my color palette here. So one of the things that I created was these nice little kind of oh, patterns cool. that you see a lot still in a lot of the currency. So, okay, so it's like a pencil tool. And then I'm just gonna draw one. And then we're gonna do another stroke and then I'm going to move this over. And then we're gonna go over here to this icon to blend. So we're gonna select the other line that we want to do. So here's where you can play with numbers. You can click on 20. I selected a different color for the other side. So that's how I was able to create these line elements. With these beautiful forms over here, I wanna create a pattern. Bring this one over, and then we're gonna go into make a pattern. I like how this is turning out. I literally just drew a rectangle and then I added this little pattern. Mm. And so what I did is I kind of recreated a seal, again, keeping with the color harmony values that I was using, outline everything and expand everything. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna jump into Adobe Express for the parte number two. This is the template that you guys can access. If you scan that QR code, that should take you to accessing this template. But what I did is I worked a little bit ahead of time and I added this image of mi abuelita. Here was another seal that I found within one of the assets inside Adobe Express, which I kind of like too. Bringing in everything from our Illustrator file. We're gonna go to add-ons and we're going to go to this free add-on video background. We can create a gradient based off of colors that we have. Mm, I kind of like that. And so you can adjust the speed. So we can kind of go in and adjust it. Again, it's, it's like these glimmer. little details, yeah. One of the things that I really wanted to incorporate was some of the cultura from mi abuelita being Colombian. Mm -hmm. So I managed to get a nice animated video of orchids, orchidias, and this was my prompt that I had. We can then remove the background it really allows you to explore and really incorporate Firefly into these design elements. But you can start to see these subtle changes. Purple to the orange is so yeah. cool. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Ciao.